Let's get into some stories where the Ghana Private Road Transport Union, GPRTU, and the Progressive Transport Owners Association, Protoa, have served notice to increase fares if government fails to reduce fuel prices by Wednesday, July 8. The unions further threatened to revert to the old loading capacity having complied with the Fiscal Distancing Directive in commercial vehicles following the coronavirus pandemic. Here's a report by Emmanuel Samani. Fuel prices have gone up by 3.89% from 4.65 Ghana cities per litre to 4.82 Ghana cities per litre. The Ghana Private Roads Transport Union and Progressive Transport Owners Association have served notice to increase fares by 30% if government fails to act. The fuel price is, is disturbing us. Through the convicts, uh, the, uh, the fuel was being reduced and it was okay for us. But now the fuel has been increased. And now we've now been short of uh, six passengers out of what we have been taking at rest. So it's worrying us very, very much. We are pleading if the government will allow us to pick our 4 4. The unions further threatened to revert to previous loading capacity in violation of the physical distancing directive. We are not pleased with how government is treating us. We have reduced the number of passengers we take, and so we beg government to reduce the four prices so that we can manage. The transport disturbs us a lot. We used to make 200 cities, but now we make 150 cities. We want the government to come to our aid and reduce their fuel prices. The situation was no different from the Circle Bus Terminal, as Protoa Secretary Imano Donko shared similar views. Because now he's talking about churches, how they should operate. He's talking about how people should move around. But we, he's not talking about us. Now, today, as we are talking to you now, yesterday, petrol has been increased. Insurance is up now. Road rate is up now. You can check from the DVLA. You can check from the insurance companies as we are talking now. So, in fact, we are just working for nothing. Imano Samani, TV3, Accra.